How's it going? Good. How's your little girl? She's good. Yeah, look at that. She's got her eyes open. The miracle of life. For Dr. Guy Venezia, it's an everyday occurrence and one of the major perks of his position as director of House OBGYN Physicians at SSM St. Joseph Hospital of Kirkwood. Guys getting any sleep last night? <laughs> Just a little bit. Yeah. She yeah. wanted to be awake last night. <laughs> this tiny baby knows the answer to that question, but she has no idea that the doctor who helped bring her into this world almost chose a different field of medicine. Obstetrics and gynecology was my last rotation, so it was obviously not on my top ten list. But when I started, I was I was overtaken by the miracle of birth. I was overtaken by um, the joy that parents experience when they come to the hospital. Of course, looking back, it makes perfect sense. The truth is, the values that drive Dr. Venezia today, a deep desire to help others, a powerful faith in God, and an unwavering devotion to family, actually began shaping his future more than 30 years ago. I know that that just didn't happen. I know I learned that from CBC. I know I learned to spend time thinking about God. I know I learned about thinking about ethics and morals. They taught me how to be a innovator, a thinker, a family person, and a spiritual person that has values and implements them into my family and my career. Dr. Venezia still remembers what it felt like to walk the halls of CBC that first week knowing that his classmates and teachers were among the best and brightest in St. Louis. I, I felt an immediate um, respect from not only the lay teachers but the brothers. They had a respect for us because we had chosen to come to CBC and then there was a reciprocal respect from the kids. There was a different feeling than the public school. I knew there was more discipline, I knew that there was more expectation, and I knew there was more competition. I looked at the students around me and I knew I was in for um, a challenge. I knew that the other students there were high quality students. Dr. Venezia says CBC's commitment to bringing out the best in every student more than prepared him for the challenges he later faced in college and medical school. I was fully prepared when I went to St. Louis University because I experienced all different levels. Classes where discipline and learning was very challenging, uh, classes where morals, ethics, and philosophy uh, was important in developing character. After graduating from medical school, Dr. Venezia served as a major in the Army Reserves. When he returned home to St. Louis, he spent 10 years in private practice before moving to St. Joseph's. Here, he oversees the hospital's family birthplace and helps shape the policies and procedures that affect hundreds of patients every day. The OB department has really excelled since he's been here in, in achieving the standard of care that uh, is unsurmountable by other hospitals. So, Mary, do we have the new plans for Looks like the here. family birthplace? Okay. Dr. Venezia is also on the front lines of designing the new St. Joseph Hospital, a $250 million state-of-the-art medical facility. The project puts him in the mix with architects, technology professionals, nurses, doctors, and other support staff. Dr. Venezia says again and again he returns to the lessons he learned as a young man at CBC. You have kids that come from all areas of St. Louis. You have people that come from the city, the county, um, and you really learn to assimilate and to work with people of all different backgrounds. And looking back, I can definitively remember that those interactions with the teachers and the students started laying the groundwork for that whole interaction with other people, developing skills to succeed. Dr. Venezia's desire to bring out the best in others goes far beyond his day job. Whether he's working with other doctors to set up a free clinic in the city, counseling expectant mothers at a pregnancy crisis center, or traveling to Jamaica with his wife Kirsten to help people beset by poverty and poor access to medical care. He's a very caring person, and I think he's um, not afraid to show that. He is very passionate about his job. He's very passionate about quality practice and best practice. It's not unusual for me to pray with a patient. It's not unusual for me to work with the patient in counseling. So it's not just about being an obstetrician. It's not just about being a surgeon. It's about, I'm going through life with you. How can I help you 
and how can I take my Christian values and my Christian beliefs and help you to feel cared about that there is hope, that there is compassion, that I will see you through this storm or this turbulent time in your life. Dr. Venezia's own family includes a daughter from China and a son who will someday face the same high school choices that his father did as a young man on the brink of adulthood. When I look at my son, I want him to go somewhere where he's going to have time to excel in academics, but also have time to play soccer, to also have time to pursue art, to also pr pursue um, music. Now, more than 30 years later, he knows he made the right choice. St. Louis is unique. People always talk about where you won't go to high school, and, and I'm very proud to say, CBC, I'm very proud to tell people that's where I went. My treasure, my sweet child.